Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see me. What's now at five? We have breaking news to report out of Star Island, where the home of rapper P Diddy is being raided. Well, let's get right over to CBS News Miami's Naja Sherman with what we know so far. Naja. Lauren and Elliot, this is breaking news just into our newsroom moments ago. U.S. officials confirmed that P. Diddy's homes in L.A. and Miami are being raided by Homeland Security and other law enforcement. Our chopper four over the scene. This is all due to possible sex trafficking and investigation related to that. These searches were performed as part of the ongoing investigation. Just a short time ago, they released this statement saying, quote, earlier today, Homeland Security investigators New York executed law enforcement enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation with the assistance from HSA, HSI Los Angeles, HSI Miami, and our law enforcement partners. We will provide further information as it becomes available. And again, this is breaking news just into our newsroom. Our CBS News Miami's Larry Seward is headed to the scene right now. He'll have a live report as soon as he gets there. Stay with us for the very latest, both on air and on Wow, man, man. Hey, man, check it, man. Woo, Boss Talk 101, man. I've been really, I, you know, man, did it, man, did so much for the people, man. But now it seems like the ball done rolled back on them guys, man. They raiding houses everywhere. I'm tripping off of it because at the end of the day, I remember last, just just a, 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 a year ago, everybody was on the party line with Diddy. And now you look up and the news is tripping. They telling everybody and everybody just taking it in. Which who what's going on with Diddy? Did he do this or did he not do this? We gotta figure it out. 50 Cent done posted it. It's going crazy, man. So I just don't know what to do. You know, I said, man, let me get on here and talk a little bit. And I feel like I wanted to bring in uh uh my my girl reality TV. I'm gonna bring in the OG. We're gonna chop it up about that. I want to hear what they got to say about this too, because I really need some help on this one, come. Like I said, man, Boss Talk 101, I was pushing Diddy two years ago, so rock. I bought the Ciroc in the store. I get that. What we get a guess? I don't know what's up. Then I hear he only moan it. It's just a lot going on with this whole situation, man. So I'm I'm about to get into it, man, even more. Let me, let me, let me, let me reach out to some people here. Give me a little help on this situation. Hey, what's going on, OG? Everything good. How are you? Man, I'm doing all right, man. Do you? I, I got reality TV on here, man, and this whole thing, man, got me twisted. I had to get a little help on this one, man, because I'm like, man, I really, you know, they done busted houses in all type of places, and I'm tripping off of it because I really ain't know, you know, I didn't. You talked about it a little bit on the show last time, but welcome to the show, man. Hey, uh, uh reality TV, you there? You always here, man. Say what's up, man. We got the OG blessing us with his presence today. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I just was up. Uh, they they didn't raided a uh, uh, Puff's house in Hobley Hills. But, you know, with, with, with Negroes and no matter what it is with white folks, there's always an expiration date. You dig what I'm saying? No matter what they turn around or whatever Puffy doing, he done ran out of gas with white America, and now they define his character, right? So they don't put him on public display. Wow. And you can tell, and everybody riding the coattail, when, once, it hit, once it hit the news and media and the, and the waves, this whole thing go crazy. He, I mean, he hadn't, been, he hadn't been convicted, but the federal feds has gotten in on it. What does that really mean, OG, when, when, when they say the feds done ran in on it? Well, well see, now uh, you got you got to realize this, okay? Now it's not actually the feds. Homeland Security, right? Okay. Home, Homeland Security and the FBI and the feds, they're, they, that's a money thing, right? When the feds come in, now with Homeland Security, they didn't come in, they didn't, they didn't make allegations of sex trafficking, right? And no matter, Diddy's a weirdo, but you know, he ain't, he ain't did the R. Kelly, and R. Kelly didn't really do nothing wrong, he just rubbed some white folks wrong. But now that they put in, so public opinion, now they, they didn't brought in Homeland Security, like we got sex trafficking, putting it way out there, because he gonna get, uh, 
accused of some dastardly deeds or some around. I was just hearing that they said out in Hopley Hills that it was some things going on in the home. He may not have been privy to it, but the white commentators says, oh, it couldn't anything go in his house and he don't know about it. Well, the man got four or five different houses on. Right. Wow. I, I'm not... I'm not justifying anything that Puffy did because he's a weirdo way back with Superhead. He's 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 the master of sloppy seconds. You say he getting sloppy seconds? He's the master of sloppy seconds. You understand me? Uh, uh, the, girl that, the, the girl that he got the baby by that died, you know, she was messing with, uh, with Pac. Pac didn't really have a problem with, with Biggie. Yeah. He's a big Pac. Uh -huh. Are we talking about Cam Porter? Kim Foreman, yeah, she she was that was that was a uh, uh, Tupac's girl before he went to prison. That was that was Tupac old lady. Kim Porter was. Yeah. Yes, you know, and then Puffy started dealing with her, and uh, his bodyguard. He didn't. Everybody he had, somebody else had. Wow. You that know, so he he is the master of sloppy seconds. He do that. Um, what's up? Uh, um, what was ja, the who was ja Rule signed to? What's what's his uh, name? Uh, Irv Gotti. Irv Gotti. Irv. Irv them is the first ones that got with Superhead and went and told Puffy. Puffy, you know, he he got with her and tried to turn on the Bobby Brown. Wow. So you wow. Know, they, they go through. I mean, they go through the they, same they, women. Go through, I mean, I can't understand that. If I, why would I buy a used car and I can afford a brand new? Ooh, let me ask you this, man. They had the boy. They had the boys handcuffed on one of them scenes I seen. Where why are they handcuffing the boys for? They detaining them. What, 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 yeah, you know the I, sons. This was out. That, that's in California. You, and these crackers, they so scared. They said it was going in the house. Make sure wasn't nobody in there with guns and weapons. So when they pulled, they. They got SWAT going up in the house to a perimeter to search around, and the detectives is outside. So everybody that they bring out, they call it for their protection and your protection. They handcuff you and put. It ain't like they did nothing, but in public opinion, you guilty if you handcuffed, huh? Yeah, because that's what I see when I see them. I say, man, they got them boys detained. They got them boys handcuffed. They out there standing around handcuffed. And it's crazy, man. News breaking everywhere. Everywhere you look, it's on there. You can't get away from it. I and do remember someone making the allegation that one of the sons was bringing underage or young girls to the studio or something. Mm -hmm. like really? Okay. I mean, you know, and, and, and but that's so crazy that, okay, your sons is in their 20s, right? Right. And, and, and the, the, the biggest thing with that, and my problem with that, is why every time you get money, you start messing with them pink toe girls. Get nappy heads make for happy beds. Why is Ooh. you going out here with these crackers and they come in and then they claim they 15? Well, let me make sure my hair's straight because my head ain't never nappy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm telling you right now. Hey, 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 let me ask you this. Okay, so so let me ask you this, uh, uh, OG uh, Pyru uh, uh, told him, what do, what do you think? Where does where does this land? Uh, is he gonna have enough money to stay out of jail or prison? Are you black folks ain't never got enough money to stay out of prison. <laughs> you, know? you, 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 you ain't, you ain't got that kind of money. You see, you see the clone of Michael Jackson when the first time when they was getting ready to assassinate Michael, get rid of him, the first thing they said, he was sucking little boys' dicks, right? Yeah. And, and they put him through. Now, I sent you that clip with that white lady said, right? Yeah, yeah, they yeah. Don't know, they don't know who this monster was was sitting in the courtroom. Man. So, 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 we, so, so we, are they going to be able to get P. Diddy, uh, at least probation? He probably won't get it, but through public opinion, they're going to ruin him. That's what they're looking. They ain't really worried about doing them but taking and, and ruining his, his whole reputation. But, but now, he he don't like R. Kelly? Yeah, yeah but because they're going to get some, they're going to get some Negroes, if nobody else, to 
to come give him a couple of thousand dollars and they gonna come and testify against him. Wow. So reality TV, you think that the sons was bringing in uh, uh, girls for him? Is that what they are allegedly? Allegedly, that is that what they're saying? Because I hadn't heard none of. <laughs> well, 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 what did you? Uh, I mean, they they transport people from all over the world. When you got like when you got money, a, a lot of things is at your availability. Ooh. But you couldn't do it. You couldn't do it without white America giving them the plane to get them there, huh? Most definitely. Man, so we can always talk about the problem, what the problem we have, but the solution is the. All the money he got, he ain't no privy. He he got a white handler. Now they tired of having him. He didn't got above reproach. So now they, he was part of Biggie slaying. I'm 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 just saying allegedly. You know what I'm saying? That uh, all of these things happening, you think it's for a profit, but you don't think it's going to ever come back on you. You're right. Oh, you're never gonna be. You can look at we look at our history. Sammy Davis Jr. was with the Rat Pack. He was the token Negro for them white folks. Al Tavis, uh allegedly, Frank Sinatra wanted to have sex with Al Tavis. She told him she don't do that. So they had a pack that you don't matter what girl you mess with, you can't mess with nobody else's wife. So when Al Tavis wouldn't get down with uh, 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 Frank Sinatra, he sent Sammy Davis Jr. in. Man, you go knock her and we can all run a train on you. But she outthought all of that. She's like, well, you ain't getting nothing from me until we get married. Wow. And when they got when they got married, everything was, and she and I, I wasn't there. Allegedly. <laughs> uh, Frank Sinatra told her, bitch, I don't care what you do, but whatever it happened, you will end up broke. When Sammy Davis Jr. died, they took everything from Al Tavis. Wow. Bill Cosby wrapped him the wrong way because he went, and when they had the public sale, he bought all her shit back. Wow, man. Red I just... Fox, look at the history. Look at the history. Red Fox died. Everything he did from Frank, he died broke on the IRS. So you saying this is a plot, definitely a plot. The red kid at P. Diddy. This is, this trying to take him back. Take to... this, basically a cycle. This, this is a pattern that white America do to black people. But Liberace died, and it was the first time when this homosexual died. His driver sued for palimony. That's when we first got palimony. Oh, we pals, uh, uh, friends with benefits. Right? Ooh, palimony. Palimony. I was, I was starting a palimony from, from Liberace. This peck of wood died and left his $30 million. Ooh. So I, all I can say is, man, and, and like I said, I'm not going to hold you long, but I just thank you for getting on the call, man. And when you think about, like, uh, P. Diddy and everything that these allegations, you know, that they're bringing up against him. They've taken his kids. Uh, man, I feel bad for his daughters, you know, his twin daughters. Like, like it's a lot they got coming his way, man. So I don't know if y'all, y'all need to really get in these comments, man. Let us know, man. What do you think? Do you think that P. Diddy is about to serve some time or will he have enough money to stay out of the situation to where he can just pay a little bit and stay out the way. We it looking like they gonna go on and take him to jail the way they rushed up on all his houses today. I I've been yeah, around. They, and, they, they're not gonna take. They may not take him to jail, but they're gonna ruin his bank account. They are gonna ruin his bank. Y'all heard that from OG. OG Paru said they gonna ruin his bank account. Allegedly. Allegedly. You know we say allegedly on everything. Reality TV. Do you got anything else you want to say? Um, the, I do know that the lawyer, uh, Cassie. Man, hey man, thank you guys, man. Make sure you guys like, subscribe to the channel, join our membership, man. You just heard it from OG Pyru, Ayatollah Marv, 
reality TV. She stepped in on this thing, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, the reason you see me.